What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. D-Dub here and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am excited to be recording this again. It's been a few days. I don't know why. I just have an itch for Stardew Valley today and I hope to scratch it very aggressively. Also, totally random anecdotal side story, I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, I currently have two pineapples sitting in my kitchen sink. Not in the game, but in real life. Uh, at work the other day, we had this holiday, not holiday party, company, uh, picnic, I guess you could call it? I don't know. Uh, it was a luncheon, basically. It was all themed and whatnot, and it was tropical themed. And they were doing bowling with coconuts, and the bowling pins were pineapples. Uh, and at the end of the event, I didn't know this was going on. I got offered to take home two pineapples, and I like pineapples, so I said, sure. But... I didn't realize that they had been hit repeatedly with coconuts until I set them on my counter and they leaked everywhere. So I currently have two pineapples sitting in my sink that are dripping pineapple juice into my sink, which I'd much rather have there than on my countertop. Yeah, don't know why I'm sharing this, but as soon as I get done with this recording, uh, I'm going to start editing it once I get that done. I'm going to go cut up some pineapple. Not sure, again, why I'm sharing this, but yeah, there it is. Also, Daphne, you look bigger today, girl. Oh, are you an adult? Oh, you're an adult. Okay, cool. This is exciting. So we can start getting... Ooh, we need another cheese press. Um, I wanted to make one of those, but we didn't have the wood. So 45 wood, 45 stone, 10 hardwood, and copper. We can easily do that. So let's let's go do that. All right. If I do say so myself, that's one impressive cheese press. Ha <laughs> ha All right. Let's go ahead and get some feed in here. Feed our lovely money-making animals. Thank you so much, all of you. Also, we need to buy... We need to buy another goat. Yeah, let's do that. I don't remember how much they are, but we don't have the chance at, uh, or sorry, our animals don't have the chance of becoming pregnant unless there's two of them, I believe. And Marnie should be open on a Thursday. So let's go pay her a visit. And I was not at all planning on doing this today, but since we're here, we might as well, right? That's kind of my, my mindset for a lot of things. I might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future. Although, I'll still need to make sure there's a market for him, so you'll have to prove your skill with animals first. Just keep treating your animals with animals with respect, and good things will happen. Yes, like they'll produce me bigger and bigger bottles of milk. I love it. All right, how much is it for a goat? 4,000? Yes, please. Okay, so that's two cows and two goats. So we still need two sheep and then two pigs. Let's randomize a few of these, see if I can get any... Any ideas? I was not planning on doing this, so I do not have a name picked out. Uh, Menabella? That's interesting. Mussy? No. So we've got Daphne, and let's do... We've already got a Darcy, so we can't do Daphne and Darcy. Uh, Daphne and... And Liara. I don't know why. That sounds kind of cool. I like it. I don't know anyone named Liara, but... I don't know. It sounds kind of cool. I'm happy with it. Okay, let's head... Let's head to Pierre's. Uh, I want to do a little bit of the cooking today, and I mentioned I was going to do this... Hold on. Leah should be here, right? It's 10. She, her door's just open since she's such a late riser. Yes. Hello, Leah. I'd give you a gift, but I already gave you them. Your farm is pretty well stocked with food, huh? Yes, it is. Food perfect for cooking. Also, this music in winter sounds so off. Just, just putting that out there. Luckily, it goes away as soon as we switch zones. But anyway, I mentioned a while back, I wanted to go to Pierre's and buy, I think I referred to them as like base ingredients. Uh, what I meant by that was just like oil and vinegar and rice and some of the stuff that I don't have the ability to make quite yet, but it would be nice to have. Ooh, a crocus. We can do that. And then no more birthdays today or this episode actually, which is nice. Ooh, cutscene. What's up, Abigail? You playing games? Oh, she's getting triggered. <laughs> Game over. D-Dub. 
You scared me sneaking into my room like that. Sorry. <sighs> so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Probably the latter. Although it is pretty hard. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Are we going to play video games with her? I think we totally are. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, WSD's move, shoot, spaces, use my item. Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. Why can't I shoot? Uh, I can't shoot right now, guys. Uh, I can't shoot my gun. There we go. Oh my gosh. Are we stuck on top of each other? Now I can't move either, guys. This is so buggy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Now my gun's working. That was bizarre. To be completely honest, I was using the wrong controls to shoot. I was using the mouse button. Which I thought would make things easier. And it totally would. But halfway done? Are we just trying to beat this one level or like the entire game? Because that's going to suck. Get that shoddy going. <laughs> does that give it to both of us? I think it does. Cool. Sorry if this is uh, not at all your thing, guys. I've never... I don't think I've ever done this cutscene before. <laughs> this is kind of cool. And the coins, I don't remember what they're used for. I think you can purchase upgrades later on. If there even is a later on. I'm hoping this is just one level. Whoa. I guess I teleported with that? That's cool. Hey, we did it! Okay, good. It's just the one level. Oh, man, that was fun. <laughs> hey, she agrees. Hey, that was fun. Well, thanks, D-Dub. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm... Please no one take that out of context. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was cool. Hey, in the mood for a little shopping? Sure, Pierre. A present? Thanks. You are welcome. And Abigail, it's... I feel like it's been so long since we saw you. What am I supposed to do with this? What a jerk. Okay. Pierre, let's buy some... I know we can produce sugar of our own at some point. So I'm going to hold off on that because I think there's just something so much more satisfying about growing and creating your own ingredients. But I don't have a clue how to make oil or vinegar. So I'm going to buy like three of each. It's expensive. Holy crap. But yeah, I think that's going to be good. I don't have a clue what I need it for. But we're going to go back to our kitchen real quick and see if there's any any recipes we can make. I really hope there are. All right, welcome to Cafe Doc. Ooh, parsnip soup. Parsnip, milk, and vinegar. That's new. We'll do one of those. And then there was something else that I thought was pretty simple. Uh, it just needed... No, that might have been it. Ah, that'll be one. We need a dandelion. That's easy. And then we need flour for that, which we can't do. Flour for that. We've already made a salmon dinner. We need flour for that. We need flour for that. Oh my gosh, guys. We need flour. Like bad. And then rice for the maki roll, which I think we can make our own rice. And the radish salad. That's new too. Stir fry. Also new due to the oil. Seems like oil is used in a lot of stuff here. And then I'm pretty sure we've made both of these. Anything else? No, that requires red cabbage. Stir fry. We need kale. Are we out of kale? I think we might be. That's kind of sad. Uh, we've already made a farmer's lunch, I believe. Dish of the sea. Plus three fishing. Okay. That 
is definitely better than our trout soup. Good to know. Can I make this? Hash browns. Can we make hash browns? I'm going to assume it's potatoes and something else. Yes, I'm crazy. There are no no hash browns that we can make. Uh, but it looks like we need a clam. Let's grab one of those and we can make one more, one more recipe, I think. I'm hoping. Grab a clam and... I think that's all we need. Cool. I was going to say, if we could make that uh, dish of the sea, that would be much better than that trout soup. Uh, what did I say it was that we could make? It was down here, right? Chowder. Yes. Holy crap. Today is going to be a mining day, ladies and gentlemen. We have so much food that gives us so much health and energy, and it's ridiculous. So I'm looking forward to it. All right. I think we're just going to go straight to the mines. It's been a, a few episodes, I, f I feel like, since we've done a mining trip. And is today or tomorrow the day that we get our watering can back? Either way, it doesn't matter. But if we can make enough money today, which I highly, highly doubt, this is totally wishful thinking. But if we can make, make enough money today that we can get another tool upgraded tomorrow, that would be awesome. I know it's totally a grind, upgrading all your tools. Oh my gosh, another cutscene. But it's totally necessary. Ah, this would be for giving him his favorite gift last episode for his birthday. Oh, hello, D-Dub. Huh? I didn't know he had a bike. What? You haven't seen my motorcycle before? Hmm, I guess I haven't shown it to you. Yeah, that makes sense. I love the sounds that makes. Ooh, time for a deep talk. Sometimes, after sundown, I make the long ride out of Stardew Valley. There's nothing else like it, blazing along the empty stretch of road toward the faint city glow. What city is near us? Once I've saved up enough money, I'm going to head out on my own, to the city and beyond. Just me and my bike. Was he milking a cow in there? There we go, oil's changed. <laughs> It sounded the same. Hey, maybe I'll let you ride sometime if you want. Ooh, that'd be cool. I don't think that's actually going to happen, but great. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then we have an epic fade out as we pan off to the side to exit the cutscene. And we exit off of, off of our horsey? Not cool. What's up, Linus? How you doing, sir? It's a great gift, I know. Winter's tough, but you can still fish and forage to get by. If you have any animals, you should keep them inside. Thanks for the tip. Man of nature, giving us some nature-related tips. I think he is very validated to be able to give those tips. But alright, let's let's do a little mining trip, guys. I haven't... Like I said, I don't think we've mined in a, in a hot minute. So... Ooh. This is going to be nice. We've got so much stuff and we even have food here we can even stash some of this stuff here too uh we'll save the chowder i don't plan on eating or drinking or consuming that but we'll take everything else with us I'm trying to reposition things here and yeah this is gonna be good all right i'm excited let's get mining
man, I love how much easier mining is getting now that we have so many, uh, or now that we've acquired so many different star drops. It helps so incredibly much. I love it. Uh, let's grab everything back. And I guess, I, I yeah, I guess we can keep storing our monster stuff here. I don't see, I mean, we rarely ever need that stuff, so we might as well. Uh, but anyway, we got a, a new secret note, which is always exciting for me. Like, very much so. Did I leave our... There we go. That could have been not bad, but would have made another trip for us. Okay, let's check out what the secret note is. Um, I hid something behind the community center. Okay, I guess I know where we're going. <laughs> we still have quite a bit of time left. We might pay a visit to the saloon or... I don't know, cut a few trees? I'm not sure. I know that sounds very exciting, cutting trees, but it's it's a necessity that we all must do in Stardew Valley. But all right, behind the community center, do we want to go this way? I'm just going to like spam, click, all back here. Uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, I just spent entirely too much time looking around there, and, uh, no luck. No idea what's hidden back there. And one thing I wish changed is, like, it doesn't tell you what you've completed on these notes. Like, I have no idea that we've completed this. I mean, I know we do, or I know we have, but there's no indication that we have. So if you ever were to, like, take a break from the game or just you end up finding all of them and not having done any of them and you start completing them, you know, sporadically, that's going to get really difficult to find out which ones have been completed and which ones haven't. So hopefully, since it's definitely still very much in beta, that'll be something that changes. Maybe. I might suggest that on the forums. But if you guys agree with me, let me know or also post on uh, the forums because that's, that's definitely going to help. Okay, I'm gonna sell most everything, uh, and I might even rummage through uh, our our chests for anything we can sell. I want today to be a money making day, so let's see. You know, maybe we could sell a couple diamonds, a couple emeralds. I don't think we need a ton of those. Anything we have more than five of, maybe we'll get rid of some quartz. I want to hang on to. Because it can be turned into refined quartz, which we will end up needing a lot of. Um, but yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. Let's go ahead and sell some of that. Maybe throw in a few gold bars as well, just just because. But yeah, let me go ahead and dump all of our inventory, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Much better. We're going to go ahead and uh, head to Clint's tomorrow and pick up our watering can. And that's why I wanted to sell as much stuff as possible. Hopefully, we'll be able to get 10,000. I, I highly, highly doubt that. But, you know, I'm a wishful thinker. So, maybe if I wish and want it bad enough, it'll happen? Maybe? Ooh, level 8 mining, though. That's good. It's taken forever. But we can now craft bigger bombs. Holy crap. Okay. I'm glad we sold all that stuff. Oh, my gosh. Farming made us just as much as it always does, and that's only going to grow now that we have, uh, or starting tomorrow, we're going to start having some goat milk in addition to everything. And I think goats produce milk every other day as well, so we might not be getting goat milk tomorrow. Uh, foraging, not much. I went ahead and sold some of our cooked goods, which aren't super worth it, I don't think, but... I don't know. I'll have to do some more looking into that. But man, the gold bars sell for two fifty a piece. That's not bad at all. And the diamonds, seven hundred and fifty a piece. That's oh man. Yeah, glad I did that. We made enough for the whatever tool upgrade we want next just by that day alone, which is crazy. So I'm thinking that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Uh, we'll go get Clint to process our geodes, and we'll give him another tool. Clear and sunny. And displease spirits. So we won't be doing any mining today. So that might be a good day to get our mining, uh, or our mining pick upgraded, our pickaxe upgraded. 
Ddub, I am researching the forgotten art of shadow divination. I require an item known as Void Essence. Bring it to me and you will be rewarded. M. Resmodius. I love this new parchment that the wizard uses. It's so cool looking. And there's like a desert in the background. And Cool. So if only we had maple syrup, we'd be doing all the quests today. But let's go ahead and grab two more gold bars and then get more going because, my goodness, 16 gold bars. That's crazy. <laughs> we are making the progresses. I love it. But all right, let me do the daily farm routine of taking care of animals, grabbing mushrooms, and not watering the crops that we don't have. I'll be right back. Okay, we have a new duck that just hatched. And this is going to be the one that we end up selling. We're going to hang on to it for the time being just because it's going to make us more money. But eventually we will be selling it. So I want to give it a name that I'm not super attached to. So I'm going to get kind of witty with this one. And for whatever reason, Kathy came to mind. But ducks, quack. So we're going to name it Quathy. I, it sounds terrible and it's not even that funny, which is why I'm going to end up selling Quathy. <laughs> later down the road but if we can make ooh, if we can go to willy do a little bit of fishing at the beach and make enough money or make another 2,000 gold oh my gosh this is so annoying getting trapped in uh we can get ourselves a void egg which i believe is 5,000 if i'm not mistaken Oh, they're going to go through our fodder so fast now. Not because of the one, but I'm realizing we might end up having to buy some fodder for winter. I'm not sure. Let's see how we're doing. This silo, 313 out of 480. And I don't know if it combines the total. Yeah, it does. Okay. No, we'll be okay. We haven't even used half of it yet. And we're almost halfway through the season. I think we'll be okay. All right. And we've got our new baby. <laughs> Yeah, Liara. So cute. Okay, I don't think I can milk uh, Daphne again. I don't think so. Nope. Every other day, four goats. All right, let me go ahead and take care of all this stuff. And we are, we are one item away from having the community center uh, pantry completed, which is really cool. I said I was going to be right back as soon as I finished this, but clearly that, that didn't happen. Uh, okay, so what else can we get going in here? I don't want to process this into cheese because... Oh, wait, just kidding. I was saying I didn't want to process the cheese into cheese. That makes sense. I do want to process both the milks, though, so let's go ahead and do just that. Perfect. Okay. Is there... No, we can sell some of this stuff to Pierre. I don't need to go fishing for that stuff. We'll just go straight to Pierre and sell him that stuff. Get our money, go buy a void egg, and get that incubated? I think that sounds like a plan. Uh, while we're in town, though, we will stop by Pierre's. And then we also need to bring a void essence. So when we're heading into the sewers, we'll grab ourselves a void essence. And take care of that as well. Cool. All right, let's head into town, head to Pierre's, and make us some money. Oh, well, hello, Pierre. Hello, good sir. I mainly deal in edibles, so if you've got any ores or wood, you'd better try selling them somewhere else. Pierre, please choose your wording more carefully. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's sell this stuff. Cheese. Mayo. Egg. Oh, so close. I don't want to sell the goat cheese. Although I guess we can. Yeah, no, we'll sell the goat cheese. I know we need it for the community center bundle, but we'll be getting... By the time we get a thing of large goat milk, I'm assuming she's going to produce one more thing of regular-sized goat milk before she produces a large goat milk. So I'm not too worried about it, to be completely honest with you guys. Not worried about it at all. We'll get another one. We'll get it taken care of. And we'll get ourselves a greenhouse. And someone... Feel free to let me know if this is correct or not. I don't consider this a spoiler. Uh, when you build the greenhouse, do you get access to all season seeds year round at Pierre's? I'm curious. That's something that will kind of change my 
my plans, if that's the case. Otherwise, we have to wait till spring and then can plant. Oh, gold water we can. And can plant spring seeds in spring and summer in summer, winter, fall in fall, and then obviously nothing in winter, but it will just stay year round. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's one tool. Uh, let's hold on. Let's talk to him first, because then once once we uh, get a tool upgraded, then he has really boring dialogue. Like, hey, I'm still working on your tool. And, and that's the extent of it. Uh, okay, let's get in the process of some geodes. Again, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up, as we always do. See if there's anything good. I'm hoping for some more stuff for the community center. I'm doubting we will get anything. Although I think that's due. Neptunite. Ooh, an iridium. We might be able to make our first iridium sprinkler, I think. Uh, iridium sprinkler, one iridium bar, one gold bar, and one battery pack. Yeah, we can make an iridium sprinkler. That's cool. Progress, guys. Progress. Uh, we didn't get our tool upgraded. What am I doing? Clearly not what I meant to. Okay, upgrade tools. Let's get a... Oh, iridium watering can. 25,000 gold. My goal is to get all gold tools by the end of winter. If we can start getting some iridium tools, that would be freaking sweet. Uh, an iridium watering can is going to be the first thing I want because it waters a crazy amount of space. Uh, but for now, we will get ourselves a gold pick, which will help in the mines so much more. We should be able to break all of those stones with uh one hit instead of two instead of just the uh the gray ones that we're able to break with one hit the ones i usually hit uh for just for the stones are you friends with linus he lives in a tent up in the mountains everyone ignores him the poor guy he's actually really nice just a little odd it must be so cold to live in a tent this time of year yeah no kidding okay what's this book can i read it from this side uh we got this in the yeah in the mines i think if i remember correctly anyway goblins by m jasper the species commonly known as goblin seems to have originated in the forests of the far northeast beyond the blue mire hills characterized by their green skin bright red eyes and foul smell initial encounters with goblins can be frightening for unexperienced travelers Despite their unsettling appearance, goblins possess an intellectual and emotional capacity akin to humans, and have no trouble learning our customs and languages. The goblins I've met have been rather friendly and amiable, once I've shown that I mean no harm. Unfortunately, centuries of distrust and ill treatment from humans has led many goblins to pursue careers in the employ of witches, warlocks, necromancers, and other unsavory types. A traditional goblin diet largely consists of grub meat, typically from the large and juicy grub varieties native to the goblin home forest. On special occasions, goblins will indulge in an item called void mayonnaise, considered perhaps the finest delicacy in all goblin cuisine. I take this to mean we're going to meet a goblin at some point, and we can give it uh, bug meat, grub meat, bug meat, I'm assuming that's the same or void mayonnaise, which is actually pretty fitting, seeing as how, do we have anything to donate? Yes, we do, one thing. Uh, which is actually pretty fitting, seeing as how we're about to head to the sewers and buy a void egg, so we can get a void chicken that will produce void eggs that can be then turned into mayonnaise. At least, I think that's how it works. If it's not, then disregard everything I just said. But all right, we're gonna head, oh, I guess we're here. So we can do it here. Head into the sewers and grab... I wish we could take Applejack with us. But head into the sewers and grab a void egg. Which I think is 5,000? If it's 4,000, then I definitely sold stuff I didn't need to. Yes, 5,000. Oh, cool. Let's do it. I've never done that before. Oh, and then we'll do it. I promise. I have not forgotten. I did forget, but I just remembered. We will stop by Pierre's, and heck, let's do it now, since we're over here, before we head to the the wizards. And see what he has as far as flooring and wallpaper options go. I feel so domestic trying to decorate already. I don't normally do that until, like, year two, but for whatever reason, 
I'm really wanting to. Also, we should have brought a, a cro... What's it? A crocus with us? And given it to Caroline. I'm pretty sure she's the one who wanted it. But, whatever. Okay, Pierre. What do you have? Uh, it's gonna be all the way at the bottom, right above seeds, usually. Uh, this wallpaper looks like it could be interesting. We'll try it. And the flooring looks kind of hideous, so no thanks. But we'll try out that wallpaper. That looks like it could be interesting. Which room I want it in, I'm not sure. But that's one nice thing about spending the 30 grand it takes to get a catalog. Is I'm pretty sure you have access to purchase all flooring and wallpaper options from your house. Sam's trying to do a kickflip. You got this from me? Thanks! So you can't talk to me when I want to talk to you, but I've got... If I've got a gift for you, you're willing to thank me for it and talk to me? Whatever. Anyway, the, the catalog, which is 30000 allows you to purchase any uh, flooring and wallpaper option at any given time. You don't have to wait until Pierre has the one you want in stock. Plus, the nice thing about it, in my opinion, is it lets you see your options. Right now, I don't have a clue what's even available. So I don't know what's good or what's not. But... All right, hello, wizard. Let's just talk to him normally first, see if... No, just kidding. I believe the townsfolk are afraid of me. It is unfortunate, but I suppose it is human to be afraid of the unknown. All right, let's give him the void... Whatever it's called. Uh, void essence. Ah, you've brought it. You've earned my gratitude and a 1,000 gold reward. Now go. That's it? Cool. That was easy. All right. Uh, if we can grab a crocus today, we'll do it. I don't know if Caroline, I forget if she's one of the many that uh, gathers at the saloon on Friday nights. But that's something we will most certainly be doing. I'm dreading the day we have to upgrade our hoe again. Because we won't have it. And all the worms. We can just straight up purchase a sandfish. Um... I'm considering doing it, but I'm also not because I want to catch it legitimately. But if we buy a sandfish, that'll... Oh, the temptation. No, guys, no. I refuse. I'm going to do it legit. I'm going to earn it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to earn it. Uh, Yes, I'm going to leave now before I change my mind. We're so close to being able to get to the desert anyway. Uh, all we have to do is complete the bus stop. The bus repair, which is 40,000 gold away. So not as close as I thought, but still kind of close, sort of. Uh, do we want to make up an iridium sprinkler? I think we do. We have a lot of... No, we're going to... Uh, what do I do today, guys? I think I'm going to do a little bit of fishing. Not for the stupid... stupid 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 legendary glacier fish because i'm just gonna end up getting frustrated again as you might have been able to tell by that little stupid 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 spiel but if we just go fish at the ocean for a little bit maybe we can sell some fish to willie i don't know sell some fish at the end of the day I, it doesn't really matter but i want to make some money because i just saw that forty thousand gold mark and uh we're quite a ways off from that so Let's do a little fishing at the beach here. Uh, when we meet back up, we will be at the saloon talking up to some people. Not up to some people. We'll be talking up some people and talking to some people, but not talking up to them because they're not above us. They are equals. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me get my fish on and I'll meet you guys at the saloon. Why, hello, saloon patrons. Let's go ahead and say hi to everyone real quick. Man, that was fast. All right. <laughs> we got a couple more things I want to take care of tonight. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought Caroline would be there. She wasn't. Uh, and we missed the closing time of Pierre's by an hour. I'm going to check up here real quick just to see if she's hanging out up here for whatever reason. I don't think she would be, but yeah, doesn't appear so. Anyway, we got a couple more things I want to take care of before we end this episode. And they're sitting in our inventory. You can see I'm right there at the bottom. 
Uh, I'm gonna go get this void egg incubated just so we can get a void chicken. I think that's a thing as soon as possible. And also I went ahead and smelt it up an iridium bar or it's at least in the process of smelting up. But let's see if we can't incubate this thing. I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure void chickens are a thing. How else would you get void mayo? Yes, most certainly is. Ooh, and we can sell these tonight, make a little bit more money, even though we won't be getting any tomorrow. But that's okay. Doesn't matter. And then the other thing I wanted to take care of was to decorate our interior ever so slightly. It's just going to be a change in wallpaper. We don't have any furniture yet. That's something we have to go to Robin to take care of, I believe. Uh, she can just... We purchase furniture from her, I guess, because she builds it. She doesn't actually build it, but that's how it all works. But we're going to get to bed again at a reasonable hour. But, and I'd, I'd love to remove this with a pick, but I guess an axe will work too. I have a cool idea for where to put the gold Lewis statue. Right here looks very perfect. Kind of just like the center of everything. I don't know. It kind of like a town square, sort of, but not quite. I don't know. That might end up getting annoying, and it might be in our way. But for now, I think it will work. But let's, let's add this to our living room, I think. Just because this green is kind of... Kind of hideous. Oh, and that's not much better. Maybe I'll like it more in the daytime. I don't know. But it does consume your old wallpaper. So there's no way of reverting back to the old one if I choose. I don't like that, which is kind of unfortunate. But that's the beauty of the catalog. You can just decorate like crazy. And we're not going to make too much money today. Also, I totally didn't sell the mayo that I just said we'd be able to make more money from today by selling. Uh, but we did sell quite a few fish to Willie as well. So... Some of the money was made that way. And also, did we not take care of our animals today? Why do we have nothing from farming? Crap. Uh, if that's the case, oops. And I'm thinking it totally was. I will find out, I guess, when I go back and edit this. But you guys probably already know whether I screwed that up or not. Anyway, uh, yeah, this isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's a little too, uh, looks kind of psychedelic for my taste. I thought it was going to be like a nice wood wall, but it, it's not. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, though, as always, take care.